अगल और फोर्टीन इज एम्बेराइजिंग हर फोस्ट पेरेंट सी एक्सपोज इज हर सेल्फ टू अ होमलेस एंड पुलिस इट टर्न्स आउट दैट द गर्ल हैज हैड लव विथ वेरियस मैन इन एक्सचेंज फॉर अ लिटल काइंडनेस एंड चॉकोलेट एट फोनिकेशन ट्रायल सी हैज टू फेस द सिटीज म्युनिसिपल चीफ हु ऑल्सो हैज अब्यूज द गर्ल इट लेक्स क्रेडिबिलिटी द मेन कैरेक्टर ईवा इज सपोज टू बी फोर्टीन बट वॉज प्लेड बाय अ गर्ल वो वॉज ट्वेंटी प्लस You can't possibly think that she is fourteen in the movie, but it just feels like she is making it up. Also, she is mentally like a twelve-year-old. Do everything for a little candy, and talk about nice men. bold for its time with a lot of half nude but no more love than in a regular feature film it won't even be honest pornography but sentimental well meaning social porn on the other hand there are quite comical lines at times almost a little parody of the misery arland josephson is first in the cast here but it is not included in the credit or on the swedish film database during the 60s a growing group of young filmmakers began a new movement inspired by french new wave it did the previous generation focus on the individual in favor of leftist ideals as well as questioning Sweden politically and socially as well as a liberalism akin to Matt's son one summer of happiness will go Jomen a member of the movement brought it attention stat side through his highly controversial and explicitly hard film am a curious yellow while it is popularized swedish film in the us a symptom was also the birth of swedish exploitation film which also found an audience in america this film kind of resemble the early ingme bergman film summer of monica released in the us as monica story of a bad girl and the later christina lindberg film anita it is also somewhat similar to the seminal swedish love film i'm curious yellow but without the tedious political dire tribes that movie sold that love hungry audiences in the 1960s would apparently watch anything to see some skin 
the lead salvage anderson however is much more in the class of christina lindberg with whom she starred in several later movies then the downright homely female star of i am curious yellow of course unlike any of the other films mentioned this film was obviously aimed much more at a home country swedish audience than an international one in fact the plot about a teenage girl who scandalizes her entire small town by having love with various men sometimes for money or a candy bar probably would have perplexed the international audience who pretty much believed at the time that all young swedish women were like this the girl is put on trial for exposing herself to a homeless man and at said trial the hypocrisy of town is revealed since some of the much more respectable local men were also dipping the wick in the willing eva romance wise this is not a particularly strong movie but personally you prefer these genuinely pretty swedish girls next door type like and a son or lindberg to the times square skang that were in most american love film of that era and certainly to the silicon enhanced bride of frankenstein you generally find in love movies today of course it's best not to watch a movie like this for the relatively tame love scenes but rather as a nostalgic window into a different time or different culture and these local films often reveal more about a particular culture than the high bro art films they release to the world obviously this isn't bergman but it seems interesting there is something fascinating about this moralizing the t films from the 60s it is important to expose as much as possible while at the same time learning how wrong it can be eva the outcast has its charm has its darkness and has its embarrassment the story is in its simplicity downright unpleasant and horribly enough still just as relevant but a crappy script a subpa acting from several point of view and an ever recurring fast music theme take the edge of most of it the abundant and sometimes wonderfully unmotivated nudity is always followed up with ethical 
administrations it becomes some sort of skewed and asymmetrical yin yang that suffocate rather than complement each other all this in a wonderfully cozy swedish small town environment during the 60s on the other hand the morality cookies and pointer toward the end become too bloated a young woman's love awakening and small town revenge 14 year old eva blom embraces her foster parent in the small town she skip school and is bullied eva exposes herself to one of the town's outlaw and is reported to the police for this it turns out that eva has had love with various men in exchange for a bit of kindness pennies and the occasional chocolate cake at the fornication trial she is supported by a journalist and a psychologist against the slander from the city's municipal police who also exploited the girl salvage and her son debuted in the lead role and was described as our next big star she came from kalepligas theater school in stockholm and later got the lead role in torni wickman's scraken ha thousand again also here opposite hans valgren she also appeared in films such as kaiko hardan lock hagel thriller and wide open eva was torni wickman's written as a director after 1950s block track the film was also shot in a cloth version for catholic countries one of the most morally complex films manages to be both moralistic and totally depraved at the same time goes beyond problematic and becomes almost incomprehensible in modern eyes what does wickman really want to say here are being attracted to under age girls natural or is it morally wrong or both at the same time in that way wickman actually let the audience decide he just present the fact in scene after scene eva did this the old man did this intercut with people talking about eva and then back to depiction of what eva did the film is extremely dense the scenes are short and unusually numerous competently made visually nothing special but it's clear 
that weak man doesn't really care about making things erotic or titillating. It is the moral question that is his focus here. And it's very weird moral dilemma indeed. Salvage Anderson is breathtaking in the title role. Convincingly playing a young teenager while being in her early 20s.